Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. Today we will be looking at some dogman sightings from New Mexico. But before we get started, I would like to remind everyone that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will be posting a new video of sighting report. Also, if you have the time after this video, jump over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash those dash endless dash mysteries where you can find a nice t-shirt among other things. So let's get to the sightings. This first sighting comes out of Eddy County, New Mexico from April of 1999. The witness says that she was raised in the desert just southeast of New Mexico. She grew up on two different ranches, saying that she even did some semi-professional tracking for some hunters and some local trappers. So she knows the critters around the state, saying that she always lived 50 to 75 miles from the closest towns, but that in her senior year in high school, she moved and was living only 12 miles from Otisa, New Mexico, where her school and job was, saying that at 12 miles away, it felt like she lived in town, with her saying that her boyfriend and herself was rooming with a couple just outside of Lakewood, New Mexico, in a trailer, and that they rented a room from them while watching their two kids as part of the rental agreement. Just a few weeks before their sightings, a lot of their neighbor landowners had been complaining about wild dogs, with them coming up from the river and harassing their dogs and scaring the livestock with one neighbor reporting some structural damage to one of his chicken coops. With the couple that the witness was living with, only two dogs with both of them being medium-sized dogs, a terrier mix with neither one of them dogs being cowardly at all. Even though they were getting very skittish about going outside at night, the witness says, that it was a Saturday night around 11 p.m. She says that she knows it was a Saturday night because she didn't have school or work this day. So the four of them was just sitting around and watching some TV while talking about stuff that was going on in each of their lives and stuff that didn't have nothing to do with anything really. When all of a sudden the dog started growling and barking at the bedroom window. Now right before the two dogs went off, they had been asleep on the bed. So the witness said, with this being way out of the two dogs' natural behavior, all four of them got up and started towards the bedroom. By the time they had made it into the bedroom, the two dogs had started to move down the bedroom wall, still barking and growling, saying that as the dogs got closer to the end of the wall, they just went crazy with their growling and barking. Now as the dogs were going crazy, the witness says that the four of them heard a loud thumping sound and a shuffling noise, saying that the sound were coming from further down the wall sounding to come from the kitchen area, saying that this sound really scared the two dogs, with them giving out a loud whine. Then they dove underneath the bed from fear. Now at this time the witness says that all four of them ran out of the bedroom towards the kitchen, not knowing what was going on, but they was trying to find out saying that the noise was powerful enough that they actually failed it, saying that it was pointless staring out of the kitchen window. It was just too dark out, with them not being a moon or any other light source, saying that they all were completely confused at this point, with the witness saying that the next few minutes seemed to move in slow motion to the that appearing in the living room window from the left 
with this thing looking right at them through the window with what the witness could only describe as a man dog while its shoulders looked quite human with what looked to be short sleek hair covering them but now the witness says that this creature had a head of a canine it almost looked to be the head of a rottweiler with the witness next saying oh god the teeth on this thing saying that all four of them screamed about the same time with the witness thinking that this scared the creature off because it just disappeared from the window but the witness says that this creature's image is seared into her head it also should be known that the trailer window was six feet off the ground so this thing had to be seven foot tall or larger with the witness saying that no dog could stand up and be that tall i can't say that now i have seen some massive great names with some of these dogs almost able to place their paws on top of a 10 foot fence so it could have reached a window but i just don't believe that it was a great day now the witness says that the guys immediately grabbed their shotguns and headed out into the darkness saying that they were outside looking for this creature for 20 minutes or so with the man seeing no sign of the creature they had just seen none of them got much sleep that night says the witness now the next day the witness says that she went out looking for some prints she says that she didn't find any by the side of the trailer the grass and hard ground just didn't give up any prints but she noticed that she saw the guy's prints where they had went to look for this creature with her saying that she found some strange dog type prints which was about 40 feet or so from the guy's prints with the prints being of an animal on all fours and then it would go onto two legs as it seemed to be circling them that night this truly was very unnerving to the witness with the guy's tracks being very clear in the sand and then finding these huge prints from something that was able to walk on two legs and upon all fours i can see why this might have made her a little unnerved so was this a dogman sighting or was it something else the main thing is what do you think the witness saw that night drop me a comment down below also hit that like button it will help our channel out and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can keep up with all of our latest videos so moving on this next sighting also comes out of new mexico from march the 21st of 2018 the witness says that he has a small ranch in southern new mexico that he was out looking over his animals just getting the feel of the shape of his ranch when he came upon a heifer that looked to be torn apart saying that this animal was ripped apart so ferociously that he had never seen anything like this before Every now and then the witness said you will lose an animal to predators like coyotes or a large cat or something but this kill was something else at least that's what he said he thought at the time just the claw marks on this animal seem to be way large for any predator that he knows of in this area now the witness says after seeing this sight he grew a little edgy saying that he started walking back to his four-wheeler as it was starting to get dark with the sun setting the witness started heading home while keeping close to the fence line looking for any fence damage when suddenly he noticed something moving out of the corner of his eyes saying that he slowed and turned to look at whatever was moving now the witness said 
that what he saw scared the shit out of him. It was a very large creature, said the witness, at least seven foot tall, with it looking to be covered with black and grayish fur. He says he saw grayish because it was a much lighter color, not quite white, but close. It moved fast along the fence line, with it running on its hind legs only. I never have seen anything like this, the witness said. With it having the head of a wolf, but even larger, while having a torso of a human-type creature, its arms looked to be long, but the witness says, that he wasn't able to see the creature's front paws, or if they were hands, but that he did notice that this creature's legs had a funny build to them. They weren't the legs of a human for sure. Its ears were pointed upwards like that of a wolf. He says he never saw the creature's eyes. So at this time the witness says that he was scared of what he was looking at. He said that he thought to himself that this was the creature that killed his cow, saying that he knew this creature could do that horrible things he saw done to that animal, and then he began to wonder what it could do to him, saying that he had only brought a twenty two caliber rifle with him that day, just in case he ran into a snake or two. So he says that he knew that it wouldn't stop this creature. So he says that he laid onto the accelerator and headed towards the house. Saying that this creature looked to be racing him. Because it also started moving faster. Now this really scared the witness. Was he being hunted by this monster? saying that this creature stayed with him till he broke away from the fence line towards the house. At this point, the witness says that he lost sight of this thing, which truly made the witness more nervous, due to the witness truly thought that this creature was hunting him at this time. And as long as he could see him, he knew where it was. And he could have seen if it broke towards him. But now he doesn't know where this thing might hit him from. Once he got back to the house, without coming to a complete stop, he jumped off a running for the front door. Once the witness made his way into the house, he says that he felt a lot safer. He went and got a more powerful rifle while hollering to his son to grab a rifle as well, with him saying that him and his son went back onto the front porch. While he was looking for this creature, he told his son what he had just seen. Now his son did say that he had never seen his dad scared before, but whatever he truly did see that evening really scared him. The witness says that he hasn't seen the creature again, but almost a year later that he did find another animal torn apart in his fields. So was this a dogman sighting or possibly a skinwalker sighting? After all, this is New Mexico. So drop me a comment on this one and also hit that like button. It does help the channel out. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And remember, if you have the time, jump over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash nose dash endless dash mysteries where you can find something nice for yourself and help support our channel at the same time. So till the next time, have a great day. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.